We're dining at my favorite restaurant in all of Hollywood Studios. Hello everyone, I'm Jay, and, I'm and you are watching the Theme Park Foodies. I'm excited for this video, Sam. I'm excited for my favorite salad. Yes, the Cobb Salad, the Hollywood Brown Derby, is a restaurant found in Hollywood Studios. Um, it, it was, I think when Hollywood Studios opened, considered its top dining experience, although there are plenty of things that compete with it currently, uh, such as uh, Sci-Fi Cafe. Sci-Fi Dining. Sci-Fi Dining. Yeah. So Sci-Fi Dining is, yeah, 50's Primetime Cafe, I was mixing the two up. Um, so there's a lot of different uh, sit-down dining options here in Hollywood Studios, but this would probably be the fanciest, and it's themed after Golden Age, or the Golden Age of Hollywood, Sam. Starlets, Hollywood, stars, they're all littered Tom on the salad. Tom salad. They're all littered on the wall here of the Hollywood Brown Derby. Now, the Hollywood Brown Derby is themed after a restaurant that was found in Hollywood. They were actually, uh, they were a chain of restaurants. Uh, the original Brown Derby is not the Hollywood Brown Derby. The Hollywood Brown Derby was the one that actually became more notable. The original Brown Derby actually was um, a restaurant shaped like the hat. You can see at the top of this restaurant. But uh, the Hollywood- chocolate. Yes. I, I checked up the, the wiki before I, I hooked up I this did. video. Yeah, it was very, it was very interesting though. Uh, so it would, it would be frequented by the stars and starlets of the golden age of Hollywood, and there are characters, drawings of them, all littered across the wall here at the Hollywood Brown Derby. Uh, the food here, I would say, is gourmet. It's, it's probably the top dining establishment here, but as you can see, not wearing collared shirts. So there's not a dress code, as there is, uh, there's no dress code really in any inside or inside any of the Disney parks. Right, Sam? Um, what are you most excited for? Cop salad? <laughs> so the cop I really have nothing to contribute to this no, intro. No, no, no. But saying that I'm excited for the cop salad. I'm excited for the cop salad, too. It's very finely chopped. It's yes. Cop salad is my number two salad. Yes. Grief being my number one, so... So this restaurant is specifically known for the cop salad because the original cop salad was actually created at the Hollywood Brown Derby restaurant. Um, I believe that uh, one of the stars had come in late one night and the owner, um, his last name was Cobb, uh, needed to make something finely chopped because he had uh, some dental work being done. So because uh, it needed to be finely chopped, you have this very finely chopped Cobb salad uh, that they have here that is and the- And they add avocado to yes. it, which I really like. Yes, so it's, yeah, it's a very good it's salad. It's a good dinner. Yeah. You don't feel gross after yeah. you eat it. Yes, and the rest, of, the rest of the food is, again, gourmet as well. Great drinks here too. Oh yeah. And there's a lounge that you can kind of just do walk yeah. up for, which you get the same menu. Yes. It's harder to get a reservation. You're staring outside. There yeah. are umbrellas, but you know. the indoor restaurant is harder to get a reservation for. The lounge that Sam just referenced outside is first come, first served. Uh, so you can just walk up, and most people don't realize or, or know about it. So it's right out to the right of it, if you guys want to know. Uh, but the interior is definitely beautifully uh, lit. A uh, darker decor, which again highlights the golden age of Hollywood theming, which you can find right on the, uh, I guess the, it's not really called Main Street, but the Main Street for Hollywood Studios. So um, our dining reservation is a little bit later. It's at 745. We actually just got it today, so we were lucky. Uh, we're going to need some coffee first. Right, Sam? Yes, we're gonna grab some coffee. Yes, and then uh, we'll show you guys our entire dining experience at the Hollywood Brown Derby. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our dinner at the Hollywood Brown Derby. All right, so the Incredibles area, that's kind of right next to uh, is the Joplin stand. Yeah, I mean, probably because they don't have any meet and greets going on. So it's a nice, cool little shaded area in a very not so shaded park like Hollywood Studios. I got my favorite drink and actually, uh, my favorite coffee drink in Disney. You know what it is, Sam, right? Frozen cappuccino dream. With mocha, which is a frozen Kona mocha, I think is what they used to call it. But yeah. you just put mocha in it and it's delicious. I highly re I recommend it. What'd you get, Sam? I got the iced mocha latte. Again, this is the Joffrey stand. It's kind of like right in front of Toy Story Land. Uh, what would you give your iced mocha latte? Seven? Uh, yeah, I, I can see that. All right, um, let's see. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to rate this very high. Where is this frozen? I could probably try mm -hmm. to frozen one. That's more cold. It's already melting because of how hot it is. It's over 100 degrees out today. It's just another day. Mm -hmm. Just another Floridian day. Floridian day. I really enjoy this. Um, for me, this is an eight. But I yeah, could definitely I see that someone. Above that because I like the frozen, like yeah. the texture. This is just one of my favorite coffee things. It tastes more like a 
a frozen hot chocolate or something, or like a frozen milk chocolate or something, and then really like a coffee drink. That's a little hint of coffee though, which are some of my favorite things, and I love Joffrey's coffee. So for me, it's an eight. I could definitely see some other people being a bit too sweet for, or a bit, or a bit too creamy. All right, so we're at Baseline Tap House. We actually got a nice overhang as the rain starts to pour down on us, and it's time to get a share drink. This is the 22 ounce, what was this in? The blood orange? Cider. Something. Yes. This is a blood orange here. cider. We're not like drinkers. But the Baseline Tap House is a lot of great food and great beers and the drinks. Good. Yeah. Ooh. This is one, probably one of our like favorite like, little beer spots. In our, one of our, I guess, bars in park. It's right outside uh, uh, Star Tours. I dig it. And Muppet Vision. What would you give it? One out of ten. It's delicious. There's like a soda. It's like a fruit. It's like a fruity soda. One out of ten. It's actually refreshing. I'm gonna have my hand. You want an orange? That's very good. I'm not sure if I like this. I think I like this more than the grapefruit beer that we get at Hemdrop. It's really good. How to Groove you? Seven. Yeah, no, this is a good beer. All right, we just got called in. See the low light in the restaurant? The unique decor, Golden Era Hollywood, and the characters all on the wall. All right, so we've just been seated, Sam. We have a great view of the restaurant, right? Just so you know, I've only had a banana and half of a kiwi today. <laughs> and the drink, yeah, half the drink. Yeah, we'll try to speak up a little bit because it is loud in here. Yeah, uh, they have the QR code to pull up the full menu, so. Uh, you guys want to try. I don't think you can probably do it from the TV or your phone, but it's there. And they have little top hats for the lights, which I think is very nice. The original Brown Derby restaurant, not the one in Hollywood, was actually built like, um, I guess they're not top hats, but the hat. I don't think they can hear you because I can barely hear you and I'm sitting right <laughs> Well, I'm trying to talk into the microphone. But uh, yeah, we'll let you guys know what we get. Uh, maybe we'll get a few drinks. They said the margarita flight. Yes, the margarita flight is a thing. Yeah. All right, so we just got our bread. I ordered the escargot as the appetizer, which is because I'm fancy. I'm in the Hollywood Brown Derby, and I like snails. I find I find them to be delicious snails. I had them once, remember? Yes, and I think you enjoyed them. Yes, they were very, uh, they're very they buttery. They tasted like butter. Something. Yeah, they melt right in your mouth. Um, yeah, I can't believe Sam tried them. Hopefully, maybe I can convince you to try it today. After the margarita flight. <laughs> yes. We got the margarita flight. Um, I got the Waltz hash, which is the filet mignon, and Sam got the classic, of course, like she was been hyping up since the beginning of the video, the Cobb salad. It's so good. Yes. And it doesn't make you feel gross. Yeah, no, the Cobb salad's great. We got that when we went to the lounge last it's time. It's a big serving, yeah. too. I want to try the Waltz hash because I had my eye on it last time. But it does come in blue cheese, which I feel like some people might not like. Yes. I'm sure you could obviously you ask could get for it something blue different, cheese, but, but I do think that I'm not a blue cheese fan, but I think it adds it's to like the flavor. Crumb, it's kind of like crumbles. Yeah. yeah, I think the the the, um, the pungency of the blue cheese adds to the flavor of the rest of the salad because it's so you finely avocado, chopped. Avocado and there's really good bacon. Yeah. You could also get it with, with chicken and I think shrimp too. Yeah. But I'm just doing the standard, which is turkey. Alright, so we recently ate a Chico, and I just think that, like, I don't, I don't think any bread service is going to compare to that. But yeah, that giraffe bread was... Yeah. But they have some uh, salted sea salt and butter, and the rolls are warm. I don't think it's like the most impressive it's bread. standard bread. Standard like dinner roll type. I'll give it like a six for bread. Like, like right on that six line. Could be a five, but a little bit it's warm. It's Salted butter. So it's a sea salt. Mm. Alright, so we got our escargot and our margarita flight. So there's. Yeah, well, there's breadcrumbs, I think, on top. It looks like bacon, too. That's uh, blood it orange. Smells. Yes. It's, it, well, I, I think it tastes good, too. But um, we got blood orange margarita, standard margarita, and then a pomegranate margarita. I feel like for me the blood orange That's is really good. Yeah, I heard the margarita here. Margaritas here are very good. Oh, wow. Eight. Wow, eight? It's, it's really good for margaritas. Seven, I like 
like that one better. Oh really? That's I believe the pomegranate is really good. This is the That's the standard. Classic. Yeah, the classic. Classic better than the butter somehow, I don't know how, but. That was 8.7 and what's for the classic? Two eights and a seven. Alright, so escargot is snails. Um, it comes, they usually come in these dishes. Sometimes you'll see it in the shells, but it usually comes in this dish. Look at that snail. Look at that glue. Pop right out. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not you can see the snail right mentally there. stable enough to try that. Maybe I should wait. That's a little hot. You know what? Have a, have a margarita bite. I'm have a margarita bite. So I'll start with the classic. Classic. They're good. That's very sweet. They're like right up my Not alley. Too sweet. You know, it's really? Good. You thought it was too sweet? I thought, it was, like, I thought it was perfect. I'm going to give the standard a seven. I'm going to give the blood orange a it's really a little hard down that one. Yeah, that one I yeah. was expecting more of. The pomegranate's really good. Wait till you try it. This one's really good. Actually, I hope you don't like it so I finish it. For me, these two are sevens in the blood orange. Right? Six. I don't taste very blood orange in the blood orange. That's sense. You know? um, but yeah, good. Let's, uh, let's dig into the escargot. Maybe it's cooled down a bit. Maybe I won't feel the burns. I just can't feel it. Mm. There's a big chunk of bacon on that. Pretty good. But it's a little chew, more chewy than I like fresh cargo. That's a no from me. Fresh cargo, cargo for me, that's just that's, For the bacon, I'll give it a six. It's slightly elevated. But the actual execution of it. It's, it's got to be more tender, butter, buttery for us cargo. I mean, at least this one is a six. If I get into some of these, maybe some of them are better. But, um, yeah. both, are, both are really good. All right, so we've received the entrees. The, and they can mix the salad for you, but you yes. need to take my picture. So. Yeah, no, it, it's a lot more photogenic before they mix it. And it's very good, the cob salad. It's very, very finely chopped. Yes. There's tomatoes, avocado, bacon, blue cheese, and egg. Again, this was created, the famous cob salad was created in the original Hollywood Brown Derby restaurant, which is actually the second restaurant of the Brown Derby franchise, and was produced with leftover items in the kitchen for a, I forget which Hollywood star it was, but apparently they had dental work done and they had to eat something very finely chopped, so. They have a cop salad with bacon. I like. I wish that I could just have this every day of my life. <laughs> Avocado, blue cheese. Is that a what type of uh, lettuce? Is it? I think it's just romaine. It's romaine, right? One out of ten. It's an eight for me, but like, like I said, I love cop salad. If you're not a salad person, you're not gonna want to come to Disney and get this meal and be blown away by it's it. It's a good light. It's a good light meal. Yeah. My sister wasn't impressed, but <laughs> she was still hungry after. But I feel like but when you me, eat hefty in the park all day, me, this is like a perfect yeah. meal. And it goes it's, along with the theme of the restaurant. It's very filling, but doesn't make it feel gross. Avocado, bacon, blue cheese, big serving. So I've already cut my uh, steak up and mixed it in with the hash. That looks it. really good. You got some jumbo asparagus. Yes. It looks very photogenic. And mushrooms. Jum yeah, jumbo asparagus, mushrooms. Waltz hash. And waltz. Mm. That's like a J meal. Mm. <laughs> hash, mushrooms, beef. It's meat and potatoes. Yeah. It's, you know... Classic good meat, meat and potato starch with a well cooked filet. Do so you think it's better than my Jico filet? I think it's different. Yeah, Jico is on another level. The Jico filet with that, um, what was on top of it? I forgot the name of it. Bone marrow crust. Yeah, it was a the crust on top of that elevated it. This is elevated too. We gave Gico, Gico filet was a nine, I remember. Yeah, that was really good. For me, this is an eight. 
Still very good. The, 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 How's the hash? Yeah, what? How's the hash? The hash is very good too. It's just that, like I said, that meat and potatoes classic flavor. Now, I don't know if this won't really like hash uh, or if this is just Disney marketing, <laughs> but the hash we'll, is good. We'll take their word for it. Yeah, well, well they both the entrees went with, you can't go wrong with. And it's in, it's in like you, I mean, you said before, it doesn't feel like I'm eating in a theme park. Yes, I said that off camera. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of Tiffin's and Animal Kingdom, where when you're eating there, you don't feel like you're inside a theme yeah. park. It just feels yes. like you're somewhere else. Yeah, no. it's, and that's why it's my favorite restaurant in studios. I feel like I've gone to a place that's been elevated and accentuates the um, decor and the atmosphere of the environment that, it, that surrounds it within the park. Just a great spot. Yeah, I'll give this a solid. All right, so we got the famous grapefruit cake. They also have a baked Alaska for the 50th also, anniversary. Also, it's 844. The park closes at 9 and we're running on Tower Tower. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I already asked for the check. I always love the grapefruit wow. cake here. It's really good. It's one of the it's unique perfect. things oh, you can God. get. It doesn't feel heavy. What would you give it? 1 out of 10? 9. Yeah, so this is probably a top unique Disney dessert, right, Sam? Yes. And don't knock it till you try it, because if you mm. think grapefruit, like, why would I want a grapefruit dessert? You do. The tartness of the grapefruit helps add to the flavor, like the sweetness of a cake. It's so good, and it's never even seen it outside this restaurant. I don't know if the traditional brown derby, the original one, had it, but it's very good. And I would agree with your nine, Sam. I think this is, for its uniqueness alone, the atmosphere and decor in which you're sitting in when you have it. And they do have a baked Alaska, which is a 50th anniversary dessert, mm -hmm. but we're just, we're just splitting this. We couldn't knock at this. Yeah, no, it's just. But like, that's yeah. also the thing about this restaurant and also with the salad. Like, I want to get something else because I know that everything will be good, but I'm so stuck with getting that salad <laughs> that I would feel bad if I didn't get it. They're classic. Same with this grapefruit cake. Yeah. No, it's a great restaurant. All right, so we got on Tower of Terror. We saw fireworks, actually. We don't have any B-roll of that <laughs> because I don't like, I didn't want to risk the camera, but yeah, we saw fireworks and we had an amazing meal at Hollywood Brown Derby. It was honestly, to me, probably Hollywood the best Brown Hollywood. Brown Derby, Hollywood Tower of Terror. Yes, it's a classic night at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Sam, what was your favorite thing that we ate? I'm gonna go with the salad. <laughs> Started with Cobb salad, we <laughs> have the Cobb salad. For me, I really like the hash, but that grapefruit cake I just think is so original. Delicious. It really is my, one of my favorite Disney desserts. And honestly, the Hollywood Brown Derby, one of my favorite Disney restaurants, period. I think I keep saying this, but as far as theme park restaurants go, I don't think <clears throat> you get much better than the Brown Derby. But I would definitely say Brown Derby for Hollywood Studio, Tiffin's for Animal Kingdom. Uh, Liberty probably, Tree for Magic. I like Liberty Tree, but be our guest. I guess be our guest would be, would be the premiere, but for me personally, I like Liberty Tree Tavern. Uh, and then uh, obviously Hollywood Studios, Hollywood Brown Derby. So we had a great night here. We hope you guys enjoyed. We hope you may have learned a little bit or you got a little bit of Hollywood Studios from watching this video. And we definitely enjoyed our meal here tonight. I don't know. Yeah, right? and Hollywood Studios is such a packed yes. park and it's so hot. There's not a lot of shade. I yeah. think people are very cranky when they're in this park. Yeah. So I think that getting out of the heat and getting in there and having a nice relaxing meal, it's such yeah. a nice vibe in there. I really recommend it. I agree 100%. And eating a not yeah. so heavy meal. We also had that great beer at uh, Baseline Tap yeah. Cider. Great Baseline yeah. Tap House. So. We gotta do a video on Baseline. We've yes. eaten there before. Everything is delicious. Yeah, we'll it's do a, a specific great, video like, one day. Spot. Yeah, just on them. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Like it would really help our channel grow. Push this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time the videos come out. Which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Make the days count. See you next time. That's all, folks. What's really cool is like, uh, I never even knew this little spot existed over here. All these little artifacts. Yeah. Oh, look, spooky season. Yes, coming. it's coming up in, in August. You'll see all this stuff all over, at least uh, Magic Kingdom for sure. So, yeah, have a good night. I can't wait for Halloween. It's, it's Halloween.